Hello YouTube, this is Trotter Yu-Gi-Oh! with an update for my scrap deck profile to for the new March 1st ban list. So I won't start playing this deck for another couple weeks, but I just want to talk about how I think scraps will do under this ban list, and they got hurt quite a bit. So first I'll start with the list, and then I'll talk about some things. So 3 Beasts, 3 Chimera, regular. 2 Tengu, I would use 3, but duh. That one hurts. 3 Spy, Descendant, Gravekeeper Engine, and 3 Ryle. Then upped it to 3 Valor, because windups and Insectors are only going to become more prominent as the format moves on. And it's getting reprinted, so there's no excuse not to use 3. No Max C, because I don't believe Max C is as relevant at my locals. And honestly, I can't afford it. And then... BLS, we have a lot of lights, a lot of darks, so really powerful boss monster for us. And I replace the Tengu with Blackwing, Zephyros, the Elite. And I will get into more on that selection later, but it's level 4 and has a lot of synergy with this deck. To Scrapyard, adding Beast to my hand isn't quite as important as it used to be, so I cut out a Scrapyard. 3 Scrap Storm, Draw Power, Search Power, Duality, more Search Power, Mind Control, and Heavy Storm, and Monster Reborn. All staples for the scrap deck. And then three Call of the Haunted. Proxy and Call of the Reaper here. But three Call of the Haunted. Just amazing card in this deck. Amazing synergy with it. And the three Call of the Haunted is one of the reasons why I added the Zephyrus the Elite. Because Zephyrus the Elite lets me reuse the Call of the Haunted. Or the Phoenix Chain. Or even the three Phoenix Chains. But let's reuse that. And it gives me a level four for Synchro and Ixie's power. So that's really good. Then Judgment and two Warning. And obviously Dust You got banned. So. Side deck, two Fossil Dyna, still, two King Tiger Wangu. People have been basing this variant around it, I'm just citing it in as a tech, but it still hurts Insectors and Windups really bad, and I really like that card. Then one Spirit Reaper, because I've only been using one lately, just one of that, then Dark Hole and two MSC, because I even citing three, I very rarely go into three of them. Two Imperial Iron Wall, because I think people are going to be siding in Defissure, Macro, stuff like that a lot more because that kills the top decks right now. So Imperial Iron Wall is kind of a counter side. Two Light Imprisoning Mirror and two Shadow Imprisoning Mirror for Light and Dark decks. And then one Royal Decree, just in case we're in Chamber. Extra deck, exactly the same as it was before, except I replaced Scrap Archfiend with Ancient Fairy Dragon. Because Ancient Fairy Dragon and Scrap Archfiend both serve as level 7 walls in this deck. And I think that the Field Spell Destruction is going to be a lot better than the vanilla Scrap Archfiend. And then I replaced Trishula with Steel Swarm Roach. I've been wanting to put Steel Swarm Roach in this deck for a while. It just gives me some more control and gives me an alternative to Utopia. And Trishula getting cut gave me the space to do that. So this is my Scrap Deck update um this obviously assuming everyone sees a new ban list because there's dozens and dozens of videos on that and i really you don't need to see another one so this is the updated scrap deck and i think scraps will still do well as a very good anti-meta deck obviously losing dust shoot and tengu really hurt them but i'm going to keep testing them out and i will get back to you and basically scraps are my favorite deck so if you have any questions about that or why i'm still running them just put them down in the comments section below, and peace out, YouTube.